automatically archive monday.com task after the 7 days of completion so let's say you are using monday.com for managing all your projects and whenever the task is completed or done you want to automatically archive all the completed tasks after the 7 days of its completion so that you do not have to manually archive each task again and again one by one after its completion and for that we are going to set an automation and this automation setup is just a one time process once you will create this automation all your task will be automatically archived after the seven days of completion so if you also want to set this automation come with me and i will show you the process step by step so this is the dashboard of monday.com where i am managing all of my tasks and here you can see a lot of tasks are actually done and completed and i want these completed tasks to be automatically archived after the 7 days so that i don't need to manually archive each task one by one and for that i'm going to create an automation with the help of pabli connect it is an amazing integration and automation software and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com/connect and if you are a new user of Public Connect, you will have to sign up for free. I am already an existing user of Public Connect, so that is why I am clicking on signing, and then I will click on access now. And let me tell you, in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kinds of amazing automation. Now, here I have reached out to the dashboard of Public Connect, and from this blue button, I am going to create an automation. I am going to create a workflow. So just provide a random name to your automation to your workflow. I am providing the name automatically archive Monday dot com. task after the 7 days of the completion now click on create and you will actually find two boxes in front of you those are actually trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this when this happens do this understand with an example also that whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application well according to our use case whenever the task is completed in monday.com automatically archive it in the monday.com only so this is how we need to always select the applications in which we are setting up an automation and here we are setting an automation in monday.com in single application only and in place of monday.com here i will be choosing scheduler now why scheduler because i want this automation to run every 7 days which i can only perform with the help of scheduler because i am going to actually schedule my automation okay so here how often you want want to run your workflow i want it to run days of the week and here let's say i selected as monday that i want that every monday this particular automation should proceed should execute here you can even select the time so how about i select it as the 1 pm only so i have added the same click on save and you will see it has actually scheduled for the every monday now i want that every monday it should actually archive the task and for that firstly i'll have to fetch out all the task here in the pabli connect which i can only perform by selecting monday.com here and in the action event i will select it as get all the events basically get all the task or here in place of task i think the action name is actually with the get all item here i Item and task are actually the same. You can consider it. Now click on connect, and we are actually connecting our Monday.com account with Pabli Connect so that we can actually fetch out the details here. Okay. So click on add new connection, and it is asking for the token. And for that, you will have to follow these instructions. This is the dashboard, and here you will find an option of admin. You will have to select for that, and here exactly you will find your API key, which I am going to copy and paste it here. And this is how you can connect your monday.com with the pabli connect now after it is connected you will have to select a few details you will have to actually provide a few details it is asking for the board well i have all the task in which particular board i'll have to first check it okay so where is my board i have the board name as the marketing project so i'm going to select the same well it has selected automatically and here you can see whatever the boards are available in monday.com i have started with 
विजिबल हेयर सिंस वी आर कनेक्टेड नाउट द सेकेंड थिंग इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द ग्रुप वेल आई वॉन्ट टू आर्काइव द टास्क ऑफ विच पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप बेसिकली पैबली वीडियो टीम प्रोजेक्ट सो अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू सर्च फॉर द सेम अगेन इट इज सिलेक्टेड ऑलरेडी क्लिकिंग ऑन सेव एंड सेंटेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट एंड यू विल सी इट विल प्रोवाइड ऑल द टास्क डिटेल्स हेयर यू कैन सी द रिस्पॉन्स हैज जस्ट रिसीव इमीडिएटली हेयर यू कैन सी announce on youtube about the ms excel integration launched inside pabli connect so let us check whether the same task is available here or not and here you can see it is the same task of the monday.com only now i have here four task in total 1 2 3 4 so let's let us check whether we have actually captured the four task or not and here is my first task the second task the third task and the fourth task so yes i have actually received all of the task of my board of my group but where are the details of these task basically to whom this particular task has been assigned basically what is the status of this particular task because it is the most important thing which i will be requiring in setting up this automation okay so basically these ids are actually associated with each of the task and with the help of these ids only we are going to fetch the other details of each task also but i want this automation to execute just one by one basically i want to process each task one by one not all together so i want the automation to be sent the data of one task at a one time at the single time so how i am going to do that basically pabli connect provides an amazing feature called as iterator and with using iterator with the help of iterator one can actually process their multiple response into the single response within their automation but it is actually asking the data into the array format but the data which i have received is not in the array format but it is actually received in the simple format so how about i disable this mapping button basically the simple response and i am going to fetch the same data in the advanced format and you will see the data which i have received will be in the array format okay so i have received this particular format but here we have another interesting twist and that is uh Uh, along with this particular data i have the extra values also that is this group this item and these lot of curly braces and the square brackets so i'll have to first to remove these values and then only iterator will accept the response so with the help of uh, text formatter i am going to do that i am going to actually remove these values okay so you will have to search for the text formatter and again text formatter is also an amazing feature of pabli connect using which you can apply different kinds of thing within your automation within your text okay so here i am going to search for the text parser with the help of which we are going to actually parse our text now click on connect and it will ask you to provide the text which you would like to parse and i want to parse which particular text basically the text which i have received in the above step so i am going to map the same how mapping can be performed simply click on the button and map the value from this drop down okay i have mapped it and i want the data basically after this colon and up to this particular inverted comma so rest of the part i am going to actually provide here in the before and the after step basically in the after and the before step okay so text match after so i am going to paste the starting part and text in the second section i'll be pasting this particular section all right so i have provided the details and now i will click on this button and you will see the response has just arrived and here we have the data but uh, we have another twist here and that is all of the curly braces has removed in fact if i will remove if i will minimize these two extra value then also you will see it will actually disappear basically my curly braces will disappear from this particular data and generally if you will search for the array array will start with this and ends with this particular thing so of course i'll have to add this new curly braces and this again square bracket in this particular data so again i'm how i'm going to do that so i will actually 
actually use the formula of spreadsheet which is concatenate okay so if you have already used concatenate within the google sheets you must be aware of that that how you can actually merge this particular value with this particular data and the same can be applied here also within your automation so here i'm going to search for the spreadsheet formulas all right click on connect and you will actually find all the full list here basically the list of the formula and search for the concatenate all right where is that particular value concatenate all right so here you can see i have the concatenate as this and i am going to copy the same and here i will be pasting the same so here i will actually provide the single inverted comma and here i will map the text format text parser data all right so this is my data again i am going to close my single inverted comma i will press comma and here again i will add two more inverted commas and here i will provide the curly brace and the square bracket and finally i will close the last bracket of my formula let us again click on plus on this save and send us request button and see what is the data it is providing me okay so i have received the data and again i'll have to disable this button and again i'll have to capture it in the advanced format and finally i am waiting this response to be captured in the correct array format and yes i have received the array format format here you can see the starting brackets the ending brackets and we have the value in the form of key and pair and finally i am going to map the same value into my iterator step all right so i'll have to first to refresh this all right so let us refresh this particular automation okay so the workflow has been refreshed and my iterator step has got removed because it was not saved so i'll have to search for the iterator once again and it has actually taken the array automatically but i want the last array which i have received i want this array to be mapped okay so let us check whether we have that data or not yes i have mapped the correct array value clicking on this button once again and you will see i can i will actually receive the single task at a time okay finally i have the task name and i have the task id and with the help of this particular id i will fetch out the details all the details of this particular task so again click on this plus icon and search for the monday.com application only all right i have selected the same and in this action event i want get an item basically uh, the action event name is actually get an item gets an item details yes i want the same i want the details of all my items okay and here i will select this existing connection only because i have just made the connections in the previous step only now here you can see monday.com application has connected again again it is asking to select the board which has selected automatically the group is also selected automatically and here instead of uh, providing the value from this drop down i will first enable the mapping button and here i will be mapping the id of the item which i have received in the previous step here you can see i have the id and what is the benefit of this mapping basically if i will uh, select the value from the drop down it will be actually fixed but if i will map it from the above data so mapping always uh, replace the values when this automation will work in the real time okay so that is why instead of manually adding the data i will map it and uh, where is the ID item id we have just received in our iterator step so i'm going to map the same and will be clicking on this button all right and you will see i will actually received all the details associated with this particular task okay so here is the id here is the name here is the created date the updated date we even have the board id and where is the status of this particular task okay because this is the most important thing and here you can see this particular task is actually done and i want this particular task should be automatically archived after the 7 days okay so that is why this was the status was the most important thing for me so i want this automation to execute for the only if this particular status is actually done if the status is working status is assigned in that case i don't want this automation to execute further so here i will be specifying the same that if 
the status of your task is done then only it should for it should proceed for the otherwise stop this automation here only okay so i'm going to do that with the help of filter and filter is again the amazing feature of pabli connect using which you can apply several kinds of conditions within your automation and here in the select label i will actually select the uh, status column okay from this monday.com step i will search for the status column where is that status well i'll have to actually check the value okay we have the value as additional info label okay how about i copy and directly search for it okay that will be easier for me okay so this is the value and whenever this value is equal to done then only this automation should ex should execute further should proceed further and here you will see the condition will be true why this condition is true because this time this task is actually done okay here you can see the task which we have just received is actually have the value consist the value done well i understand that this automation is a bit lengthier but uh, it is just a one time process you need to set up this automation inside pabli connect just once and after that uh, the task will be automatically get archived you do not have to do anything manually you do not even have to come back to the pabli connect once again okay so my use case here is i want to archive any particular task only after the 7 days of its completion so how i am going to specify the same thing to this particular automation so let me try to explain you the same scenario even in a better way so we have the task completion let's say the task is completed okay so after the 7 days of task completion it should actually archive the task we have to build up this particular scenario in pabli connect inside pabli connect or inside our automation so how we are going to do that so firstly we are going to fetch out the task completion date okay when the task has been marked as done and then second time we are going to fetch out the current date basically the time where or when this automation is actually executing okay the current date all right let me even correct the spelling first okay and uh, after the finding out these two dates we are going to find the difference in between these dates okay difference in between these dates if the difference is actually greater than or equal to 7 this automation should automatically archive the same task and if the difference is actually lesser than 7 this automation should should stop working immediately okay so let me even tell you with an example so assume that the task completion date is actually uh, let's say 8th all right and we have the current date as 16 okay so if we will find out the difference of these two dates it will be actually 8 which is definitely greater than 7 in that case it will immediately archive that task and assume that let's understand let's take an example of another scenario so let's say the task completion date was actually 12th okay and the current date we have is 16th so if we will find out the difference of these two dates we will actually get the value as the 4 okay so in this case this condition is not actually getting satisfied because the difference of the date is lesser than 7 in that case this automation will stop working immediately so we will have to build this particular scenario inside pabli connect so how so firstly again i am going to fetch out the current date all right and i can actually do this with the help of date and time formatter feature of pabli connect again it is an amazing feature and in the action event if you will select the current date it will immediately give you the date and again one more very important thing okay so we have the current date we are actually finding out the current date and we already have the task completion date so let me show you the details of the task and here in the monday.com step in this action event we have actually find out the details of our task and we have the task completion date as this okay here you can see you can even read it the additional additional info changed at this particular date so we already have the task completion date and we are fetching out the current date then we are going to find out the 
डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन दीज डेट्स बट मेक श्योर फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट द डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन दीज डेट्स द फॉर्मेट ऑफ बोथ द डेट्स शुड बी द सेम सो वॉट इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डेट बेसिकली द टास्क कंप्लीशन डेट दैट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टी एंड जेड सो हाउ अबाउट वाइल फैचिंग आउट द करंट डेट आई फैच आउट द डेट इन द सेम फॉर्मेट सो दैट इज वाई आई विल सेलेक्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मेट डू यू वॉन्ट द टाइम ऑल्सो वेल आई डोंट वॉन्ट द टाइम सो आई विल कीप इट फॉल्स ओनली एंड हेयर यू कैन सी आई हैव द टी जेड फॉर्मेट लेट मी इवन क्रॉस चेक इट वंस अगेन ओके सो आई हैव द फॉर्मेट टी एंड जेड एंड अगेन लेट एस चेक द फॉर्मेट एंड वी हैव द फॉर्मेट एज दिस so now after finding out the current date we are going to compare these two dates and again the date comparison can also be done with the help of date and time feature only and yes it is amazing feature where you can apply several kinds of operation within your dates so i am going to calculate the duration in between these dates so click on connect and it will ask you the two dates okay in which you would like to uh, find out the difference so i want to find out the difference in between the current date and the task completion date so i have the current date as this which i am going to find it from here okay so here i have mapped the current date and i even have the, the task completion date in this particular step in the get an item so again i am going to find out i am going to map the same okay this is the date the task completion date that is additional info change at this click on save and send test request and let let's wait for the response so we have the difference as zero okay why because the task completion date was also 17th and the current date is also 17th but simply assume that your task completion date was different it was not actually of today okay so how about i first copy this particular date and format and for now just to show you how things will work i am going to i am going to add this date manually for a second and here instead of the 17 i will actually write it here as something let's say Nine, okay, and then I will click on this button, and you will see the difference here. Okay, okay. So we have the date as eight. Okay, so in this way, if your task completion date is different, this is how you will actually get the difference in between the dates. And what we will do in next step, we are actually going to. compare we are actually going to set a condition that whether the difference is equal to or greater than 8 okay or greater than 7 so with the help of filter again you can actually apply the condition here and in this particular select label i'll have to map this particular value basically the result dates how about i copy the same and here i'm going to search it directly so that will be easier for me okay we have the result date if the result date is actually greater than or sorry equal to 7 or if the result date again is actually sorry all right i'll have to map it again is greater than okay so where is the greater than value okay here it is if the result date is greater than 7 so i have specified both the conditions basically of the equal to and of the greater than also if any of the condition is satisfied and click on save and send test request and you will see this time the condition will be true because the date we have added here was this particular date manually and because of this it has given me the difference of 8 which is actually satisfying this particular condition so that is why the condition is true in that case what will happen in the next step i am actually going to specify that it should actually archive the task automatically how again i will search search for the monday.com here all right let us search for the same monday.com and here in the action event since i want to archive the task so i will search for the same and here we have the archive item click on connect and again i will go with the existing connections only and you will see again monday.com application will be connected and i will keep both these things as it is and here instead of mapping the value from the drop down again i will 
enable this mapping button i will erase the existing value and finally i will map out the value which i have received from the sixth step of the monday.com so i have the item id as this and if i will click on this button you will see it will show me that the item has been archived automatically and here you can see i have received the response let us even check for the same task okay so this is the monday.com and yes the task has been disappeared from here because it has archived automatically but here remember that i have changed the date manually just to show you how the task will archive automatically well where is the difference okay here but in that case make sure you do not manually add the dates you'll have to define the date here as the mapping only basically from the mapping only so i have the date from the task completion date all right so i'm going to map the same again all right so here i have the value change at no it is not actually the task change date we have the task change date as this additional info changed at this and now again i will click on this button and then i will immediately refresh this particular automation okay let me even show you and here you can see this time i have the difference as zero okay and then i will refresh this particular automation so that mapping will automatically change in all the sections all right so this is how you can set an automation inside pably connect for archiving all your tasks automatically and you just need to set this automation inside pably connect once and after that as soon as the seven days will complete of your task completion it will automatically archive all all task you do not have to do anything manually and in case you want to clone this whole workflow into your account you can actually do the same because i will be adding the shareable link of my workflow into my video description box from where you can directly click on this button and clone the whole setup into your account that too for free you just need to sign up for free in the pably connect for that not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video